it went on to win the tournament, and Charlie and Eon go, got stuck at ninth. So they're almost there, just one more hump yeah. to be able to get through, and then I know that they can be great players. But that doesn't matter. Right now, we're working to our way inside the local scene. This is the last tournament you said, the last MSM before the PR season ends. Yeah. I didn't even know that, actually, so thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I mean, we still have the weekend. The, we still have the rest of the week. This is the last MSM you can participate in terms of PR. Uh, we also have Hat and a couple other tournaments. Please check out SoCal Smash. Dot net. I repeat that one more time, SoCalSmash.net. You can check out some tournaments coming up and results as of late. And let's go right into this game. Charlie with a couple up airs here. This is, I'm sorry, Eon with a couple up airs. Sometimes people like to call Eon the Echo Fighter of Charlie back then, being recognized for their sm or for their well-playing uh, Fox mains. Yep. And uh, I believe the one that plays Wolf is actually Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, so let's uh, swap the names real quick. There, there we go. I feel like in general, from what I've seen, oof. Wow. And you that talk about sweet spots on that one, man. <laughs> yeah. That, ooh, okay, there we go. Mixes up with the uh, Smash 2 out of shield, catches them in the air. Yeah, both of these two can kill each other really well. I just feel like Fox may have a slight edge just because of his speed, able to pressure Wolf in a lot of situations. I but mean, you can't get careless, too, because of the up smash out of shield as well. That's true, man. You, you talk about especially the edge right there. One thing about Fox, right, you have to understand the time that it is. The, the side B from Fox. If you can time that out well, you can get punishments. Just like Charlie, one thing you have to know about it is that side B from Wolf. It's got that sweet spot you gotta want to look out for. And immediately, Eon turning up the clutches here, a little bit close to 11 here, trying to see what Charlie's play from the ledge here. A little bit thirsty with that side B though. Might have been a misinput on that one. Yeah, they're really looking at each other, trying to figure out how to get them out of their shield. Oof. There we go. That four tilt, gonna put him off stage. Trump, oh, I Oof. like the situation here. Knew that he was forced to go low, tries to go for the down air. They're really calling each other out, trying to catch them, but an ill-advised side beat, the four tilt is actually just enough for Charlie to be able to get that stock. And sometimes I do want to see Fox mains go for the Fox angles instead of the side B, right? You are risking a lot with the side B more this game than you were last game. There are some punishments you can get on side B as opposed to Smash 4. Okay, what? I like that. The falling laser, especially when your opponent, when you know your opponent's trying to close in the gap on you, using that laser is such a good way to keep up the tempo and make sure that you're still in control of the match as you're trying to land. All right, and this is the dash attack for Butch. Charlie immediately getting his own. I do like the fact that he went for a landing there at that situation, trying to stop Eon from coming back on the stage, but Eon with a great play here, putting Charlie in a difficult situation, reads the fact that he went for that high wolf fire, gets the back air. At that situation, you know, Charlie was kind of pressured to go for that situation, but I feel like he should just be more content with having his feet planted on the ground. Dang. Charlie is really good at two framing yeah. with that forward tilt. He's not even for, forward tilting, or not even two framing because sometimes the claws go underneath the ledge, so yeah. it's just able to catch people off guard. You can angle, you actually angle the forward tilt too. Don't forget that. Yeah, uh, it, it just from the two main wolves that I recall off the top of my head, there's Charlie and there's K9. K9 uses the down smash two frame more. It gets you solid kills at earlier percents, but forward tilt is very consistent. Mm -hmm. Lasts for a very long time as well, and it's very quick, so it goes well with your timing. Yeah. So Charlie's taking full advantage of that, basically using that as the same Fox up tilt that he <laughs> did in Smash 4 to catch people at the ledge. He found a new, he found a new tilt move to use for, and especially he's gonna reap the reward for that one for sure. All right, buddy, we're going to Kalos. Finally, a change of scenery in this uh, top eight so far. Yeah, uh, definitely Kalos, one of the stages that seems to be somewhat more or less picked, but let's go more about the match here. One thing that, that both players love to do is put each other at the edge here, and then Charlie trying to find a situation here to get Charlie, but I'm sorry, get Eon. Sorry, so used to finding, seeing these two play Fox, but only one is playing Fox now. Yep. I mean, this is one of those situations, both of them have very strong landing aerials, so they're just trying to get each other out of their shield or get a parry like that. Fox's parry especially is very great because you have a three frame advantage and up tilt is exactly frame three. So you're able to be able to get a quick punish like that, guaranteed basically if they miss space on your shield. Gets that, gets that safe hit from the landing neutral air, especially with a back hit. Final connecting, but Charlie looking for this back air, able to connect it so strong in terms of knockback. At that situation, he was looking to see how Eon was going to land, and Eon sees how Charlie lands with that up smash. Both players kind of really content in reading how each other is going to land and react with one another. The one thing I do like, though, is uh, when initially the game released, Charlie did talk about how Eon might actually accelerate him, but Charlie found the main to find the answer, reads the up, the up B on that situation at the ledge, and of course, if you're Fox, you're extending your hurt box when you're committing to that up B, especially from so deep. Yep, that was really good. I mean, Charlie just in general looks like he's getting his two frame timing very down. Something that was kind of difficult for him, I feel, in the beginning of this game, but now he's found the character that he wants to use that and get those hard punishes that he's looking for. 
Gets the ground to the forward air. Yet again, another two frame situation Charlie was looking for. And at that situation, he knew he was either going to go for the side B, but this time, Eon electing to go for the Firefox at the side. I do like the fact that he's understanding, hey, I'm getting punished for going for Firefox or side B at certain parts where he's unpredictable. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And definitely paid off. That time, try to catch Eon going a little bit high on the recovery because he's been conditioning with those. Oh my gosh. The up smash out of shield. I didn't even realize Eon was on his last stock. Charlie, with that unfortunate SD, I thought that was going to be a dire situation for him, but he's been keeping up the control of the match. Didn't let that blaster SD get to him, and he's keeping up control. He's keeping up the pace, doing an amazing job. All right, well, Charlie, uh, he did mention on Twitter how he spent a number of hours in the training room just practicing two frames. Uh, so shout out to Charlie. He's usually very active on Twitter. He always talks about how he's working on not only wolf tech, but other character tech that may be useful. You can definitely see him rock out of Sheik at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. But immediately Eon says, you know what, forget the Fox. Let's go here. One of the characters that definitely put me on the map, especially when it came out to the beginning of the season, it's going to be his Pichu now in play. Yep. I feel like Fox is one of those things where, yes, he has the speed to stuff out Wolf a lot of the times. So if you get the right uh, read on them. Oh, yo, did great he just tech. Use? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, but he can die really early. At least Pichu is small, so it's difficult to hit him, especially with the way Wolf's hitboxes interact, especially his aerials. Yeah. You kind of have to rise while doing them, which makes it difficult to catch a short character like Pichu. <laughs> yeah, Pichu, of course, having one of the lowest profiles in the game as well. And also, so prone to getting killed early, especially because of the weight. Pichu, not the lightest character in the game. That us smash, or even the fact that Charles, um, Eon was going to go for that angle there on the recovery on the, from the quick attack. Oh, wow. Goes for the Muti King angle that time around. Actually works out in his favor, able to make it back to the stage. Get some pressure up with the blaster, forcing Eon to try and figure out something to do. I do respect the one thing we're not seeing from Eon here in terms of the play. He's not going for the Thunder Jolts in this situation because he knows Wolf could just stand there, go ahead and use Reflector, and then Eon will not be able to get much. I do want to see him kind of use it here, but immediately Charlie going for the dash attacks. He's putting Eon back at the ledge here, especially 64%. That knockback that Wolf will deal to Pichu will definitely be great, and that out smash almost killing. Yep. I feel like Eon's having those troubling issues where Charlie's keeping up the defense so well, so it's difficult for him to find the kill off that straight hit he's looking for. There we go, finally gonna get the edge guard sequence, but Eon had to really fish hard for that. Early on, he tried to go for like the four smash, the up smashes, the down smashes, they're not quite working out, but uh, Charlie's still keeping up the lead and continues it forward with that up smash out of shield again. Just because of how far it scoops up on his sides, it's so good at catching people on the ledge if they try to get aggressively back up, like a character like Pichu wants to do. Yeah, and especially when you understand when your opponents like to go for their, how their, their get up option habits, and especially their out of shield habits, you're also able, you're able to react and punish well. Like you said, the side hitbox seemed to be really the number here, but immediately the number for Charlie here is a 66% of the two stocks he's got over Eon, pushing him to the sides and he finishes him off just like that with a side B. Charlie with a great play. If you want to say what the highlight was for this week, we found one for sure already on a Monday.